Okay, um, I made a mistake in the um, at the end of that last video. The the next section that we're going to be going over is not going to be the Farmers Home Association. That's actually going to be the next video. This video, we're going to be talking about the Homestead Act. You know, continuously coming with these Negan swings. I'm trying to tell y'all, you know, um, I, I, I don't like to debate like this. You know, it's it's fun, but I don't like to debate like this. But y you had it coming. Okay, I'm... I told you that there was proof, told you that there was evidence, there's videos all over YouTube, but you don't want to listen. And I already told you people, first one's free. Then what I say, I said I will shut that shit down. No exceptions. Now, I don't know what kind of lying assholes you've been dealing with, but I'm a man of my word. First impressions are important. I need you to know me. So, back to it. <laughs> right into it man the homestead act getting right into this now um for 300 years billions of dollars worth of native american lands were granted to whites alone okay go and research that come back and finish watching this video um other huge blocks of land were sold to whites for only one dollar per acre okay now I don't know if y'all remember, and I'm glad I put this in the um, I put this in my uh, notes in the book um, on page 14, and this is like the um, where they talk about the the Indian land grab, and this should be part um, this should be the part two or part three in uh, my how white people got so rich um uh videos but on page 14 it talks about the dolls rolls the dolls act and the the last paragraph reads as such ultimately the indian holocaust netted for the white man 2.3 billion acres of land land that has a government estimated value of four thousand dollars per acre or 9.2 trillion dollars black people who's watching this video please stop asking for reparations we're, we're, we're not going to get it they owe us too much if they were to pay us reparations, they would be paying us reparations for a long time. Okay, um, it, it it would take it would take a long time for them to meet um, the expected amount. Okay, that that amount of money doesn't even exist right now. Okay, and we're not just talking about America paying reparations; we're talking about the world because the world benefited from um, from what we went through. We're talking about four hundred years three hundred to four hundred years of slavery of being um you know completely dehumanized okay uh but yeah that's 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 something that we have to get off our minds it's not going to happen and that's the reason it won't happen is because they're not going to do that i haven't made the video yet um but I'm I'm still, you know, trying to do a little bit of the research because I kind of think that and not kind of think, but I think that um, what we the government assistance that that they give to black people, you know, but they don't just give it to us. They give it to white people. But according to this book, a lot of the government assistance were not for us. A lot of the government assistance was for them. 
and we just so happen to get in the mix of that. But my thing is, I think that in the midst of them saying, oh, well, let's include the niggas too. The, the, the reason that they did that was so that they wouldn't have to pay reparations. So I'm not saying that it was, it was something created specifically for us now. Uh, you know, now that I have a, a, a little bit more understanding about government assistance, I think that, you know, um, like while it was being given to their brothers and sisters, um, uh, when we when we finally got included, it became a plan then that, OK, instead of giving them reparations, let this be their reparations because if they want reparations they would have rejected this government assistance and they would have asked us or demanded us for reparations and we have the democrats to thank for government assistance for us being included in government assistance and uh yeah so getting getting right to it uh federal programs like um the preemption act and preemption act is 1830 okay um and then you have the mineral leasing act um and many similar state programs were used to confiscate land belonging to indigenous people to give exclusively to the Caucasian. Now that 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 you know that goes back to the Dawes Rose where it says um you know uh well not just the Dawes Rose but that entire part concerning the Indians go back and check it out um um how the um uh, bear with me. I'm trying to think. Yeah, how the uh, the Indians were completely annihilated. The complete the 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 Indians were completely wiped out. Um, to the point where they almost became extinct. Okay, and they were put on reservations. Um, and after and after that, they say, hey. If you want your if you want your land, you have to do this, 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 and this. Okay, and that's what we're getting right here with these with these acts. Just more kicking a dead person while they're down. Uh, the Homestead Act. Uh, the Homestead Act is probably the most rewarding affirmative action program American whites have ever given themselves. That they have ever given themselves, okay? Beginning in 1865, okay? 1865, this is what? The same year? It, uh, uh, the Emancipation Proclamation? Uh, beginning in 1865, 250 million acres of land were given away to whites, uh, to white families. Many of whom had actually participated in the Southern Confederate Rebellion against America. As many as 640 free acres for each white family, an acre being about the size of a football field. And um, I think the, the author here is actually being, um, is actually being modest. Because an acre based on research that I've done is about three football fields. Okay. So I, I, I love this book because the guy, whoever, whoever wrote this book, I think it's at the beginning, uh, the architecture of white supremacy book series. Okay. That's all we get. But, they, I believe that they have more than what they've actually put in this book. That this book is just the surface, okay? And they're they're just painting a pretty picture. This is the this is the prettiest that it could get, okay? 
because we black people know. See, I have to I have to I have to say this. See, white people, you are at home chilling. Your parents don't want to talk to you about slavery. All they want to tell you to do is just stay away from black people. Black people are crazy. You know, then and, and you have invented the uh well they have invented a um a perception in your mind that we are crazy and because of what you see on TV, they are they are crazy. And instead of looking for the reason why we black people are crazy, which is because of you, you um you aren't able to debate us the right way. You have to debate us uh being condescending, sarcastic and um just flat out rude. Okay? That's not what that's not the kind of debating um that's not the kind of debating that we we would call proper. That's not properly debating. Proper debating is using facts, not statistics, but facts. And you may say that you know statistics are factual, but you know just you just as well as you can find statistics saying to prove me wrong, I can find those same the the uh, statistics statistics concerning the same subject that prove me right. Okay, so statistics we don't worry about those. We worry about what's written down in books. Okay. And because of what's written down in books, we can go all day long. We can go all day long. But it's because of the facts in, in books like these that back up our um, our, uh, our, uh, our position concerning our um, position in America. Okay? So, uh, getting back to it... Um, Simply snatched from the Indians and given to the whites. Okay, as many as 643 acres for each white family. Simply snatched from the Indians and given to the whites. Okay. The Southern Homestead Act of 1866 opened up 46 million acres in five southern states for the millions of ex-slaves and Union veterans but only about 1,000 blacks ever received title to land. Only about 1,000 blacks ever received title to land, which most often consisted of uncleared woodlands or refused tracts of the poorest quality. Pay attention to this next part I'm about to read. In reality, the United States government never intended to give land to any of its former slaves. Now, there's a part, uh, page 24. Page 24, we have O.O. Howard, the one who started Howard University. Where it says that um, that he had promised, he was the one who promised blacks to give them 40 acres and a mule. Okay? But he didn't hold, he didn't hold to that promise, nor did any government um, that came after him who knew that he made this promise did not back that promise that um, that this would happen you know, for us and, and, and white person, right before you say, well, you should pull yourself about your own bootstrap. This is right before, this is right before black wall street. And many of those black people pulled themselves up by their own bootstrap and your ancestors got jealous and bombed the shit out of us. Now moving on. Um, the plan was for blacks to be given the opportunity to buy 40 acre lots after working land for three years, so that's what that's what um, your ancestors' whole purpose was to put us back on the plantation, not to be slaves, but to be um, what do you call sharecroppers? Want us to be sharecroppers out there, um, you know, working for 
three years, something your ancestors didn't have to do. Your ancestors didn't have to work three years to get the 40 acres or, or, or however many acres that they got. They didn't have to do that. Okay. And if there was black people who did that and did and, and got those, those, uh, free acres, their owner or their boss had to have been lenient. Now, going back to that 1% of slave on white slave owners that y'all like to talk about so much. I don't see 1%. I I can't see it being just 1%. How could there have been 1% slave owners and majority of the blacks in this country were slaves? We're talking about millions on top of millions of slaves blacks and you said that one percent owned oh man y'all full of shit you know what I'm saying that you had to have pulled that stat out of your ass um but yeah um though some ex-slaves were settled on 40 acre farms the land was quickly seized by whites and restored to the former slave holders ex-slaves who had actually worked the land for generations were kept far away from this unprecedented giveaway we were kept away from it and you cannot say that we were not you cannot say that we were not kept away we were okay um it is estimated that the wealth of 35 million white families is based on this and other government for white only land grab programs. Okay. So there's really nothing else that I have to say. The words in this book speak for themselves in this part. They speak for themselves. Are you still there? I don't know. It seems like you're trying to speak. But you just took a hell of a hit. I just popped your skull so hard, your eyeball just popped out. And hit as gross as shit. I'm fine you. Oh, hell. I can see this is hard on you guys. I am sorry. I truly am. But I did say it. No exceptions. keep i'm gonna keep doing this i'm gonna keep doing it after the uh after the negan outro yeah let you guys know you know what's uh what part is coming up um in the next video what to be looking for and in the next video we are going to be talking about farmers home administration fha you know for white farmers only um and if you're black i want you to go and research that you have to go and research that uh, with what everything that's going on with politics and, you know, you debating these white people in the comment sections. I need you to check out my uh, debating white people one on one videos. Um, you, you don't have to use um, you don't have to say the things the way that I say them, um, but you can definitely use the um, the the debating uh, tactics and tools 
that I prescribed uh prescribe in those uh in those videos. So yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.